Welcome back to my channel. It is Miss Toto. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit the bell, of course. Um, so today's video is going to be a story time. Um, this video is specifically about specifically about my natural hair um, I am going to do a, a natural hair journey um, I'm going to have a story time with pictures uh, whatever I can conjure up from that but a story time with pictures um, but today's video is specifically about my natural hair not about my hair journey but about my natural hair so um how do I want to say this okay so I naturally have long thick hair right so if you guys don't know when you're new to this channel you know my hair is um, I just cut off about an inch and a half or a couple inches so my hair is a little bit above tailbone length um, for all of my life that's all I've had um, and now growing up you know I've had perms up until I was I've been natural for eight years so how old am I up until about 28 um, I have been newly natural so um, once my hair grew out I started to wear it out more and then I started to straighten it and the times when I did straighten it, I will always get the question of, okay, first of all, this is a rant. This is a, this is a rant because it just bugs me. It's, it's my pet peeve. It's my, what grind my gears type of subject. Um, so when I straightened my hair, um, and I used to work at Walmart, um, and I straightened my hair for the first time there and I got a lot of stares I got a lot of questions I got a lot of like I said I've got the questions of what am I mixed with and I got it a lot to where it irritated me and it made me think like why do we think you know as, as far as our race because it's not coming from other races other races say we can't grow hair past our shoulders but as far as I mean I guess that's their our mentality too because they're like okay what do you mix with because we cannot there's no way we can grow hair past our shoulders um, there's no we can we can have there's no way we can have full thick hair there's no way so I literally went to work um, and I was newly working at my uh, job where I am at now and I straightened my hair for the first time because I had crochet braids I had um, uh, a curly hairstyle it wasn't this but it was another curly hairstyle and I went to work with straight hair and you know a lot of people of course thought it was weave so I was like ooh what kind of hair is this um, and I'm like it's natural hair <laughs> you know it's 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 my hair so what they would do is like literally take their hands and do the do the real hair test put their hands in my scalp and do like this like do like this to feel for um, if you don't know, that's how you feel for tracks, that's how you feel for weave, to see if there's any type of extensions in your hair, that's what you do. You do the rub test to see if you're telling the truth. First of all, that's an invasion of space, and that's just disrespectful, period. I don't care if you're black, white, Mexican, whatever, it's disrespectful. So, yeah, they were like, that's your hair, and they just go to touching it and rubbing it like you're a dog, like... That is so annoying because first of all, why are you touching my hair? Especially if you have a certain style or way that you have it and they pulling on it and you like, uh, you messing up my do, okay? Um, but anyway, so it was this one girl, I was literally at the copier machine um, and she approached me and said, um, no offense. And you know when you, when you start off a conversation or a statement like that, it's like, okay, it's meant for me to take offense because you saying no offense or it's going to be something really rude or just ignorant. So she said, no offense. And I'm like, okay, what? And she's like, but what are you mixed with? I said, black. <laughs> um, she's like, oh, she's like, because I never seen a black girl with, you know, long hair like yours. It's really pretty. And I said, thank you, I think, because it's like, that's not a compliment. 
like to even think that you know black women in general can't have long pretty hair but to even just approach somebody and to say that to a black woman it's like dang you're not cap you don't you don't think that we're capable of this and it just made made me think of why do we always have this state that we can't be have something great you know what i mean or be something great or do something great it's always because of somebody else or something else that help us get to where we are um granted everybody is mixed with something from slavery days let's not even play like that didn't happen let's not even play what didn't happen made you know different textures tones of races so of course everybody is mixed with something but my parents are both black that's all i gotta say it, they look back black they everything about them is black from the lips to the curves to the hair to the to the tone of their skin like they're black so i'm like that's all i can tell you is that i'm black i can't tell you that um you know i have this yeah my granddaddy is mixed with something but my mom is black my, my grandmama is black i that's i'm like it's like you try to pull from somewhere even if it's down the line from somewhere that's where you got your hair from and that's what irritates me so let me know if you guys you know ever experience something like that to where somebody approached you even the, the color of your skin even if it's like oh you too bright to be fully black so what are you mixed with like things like that or your eyes are too bright to be you know anything that has some type of beauty in it it's like it's not naturally ours that is the dumbest thing I ever heard like just because um another race or another culture have something that's beautiful and it's theirs then we had to somehow take it from them and not have it as our own does that make sense like it couldn't be something that was naturally formed from somebody who's black or African American or whatever. Um, and I've had that a lot. Like even, um, like I said, working at Walmart, people thought I was mixed with something. Um, it was just ridiculous as to how many. And it what really shocked me was it was all black people. It was all African American people that, you know, questioned me or looked at me like she ain't all black. Like any other time, like when I had my little short, you know, natural going on, it was like, oh yeah, she black. Look at the texture of her hair. My hair is still the same texture. But when I straighten it and it's it's like she mixed with something. So I don't know. Um, that grinds my gears, irritate me, and annoys the heck out of me. So um, it's a rant, but it's also a story because it's like every single time that I straighten my hair, somebody always have to, you know, somebody black. <laughs> I always have to say what are you mixed with um, or even with me um, you know after I cut out my cut off my hair and it grew back and, and now that it's long like it still took time for my hair to grow just as um, it did with anybody else who cut off their hair but I just wanted mine to continue to grow some people cut theirs off when it grew with when it grows or they you know do something where it doesn't grow but when it's me uh, it's like oh it's in her DNA or well, oh it's genetics oh it has to be something in the bloodline but it's like even still you can still grow your hair everybody here grows from the root it grows it, de it it's dependent on how you take care of what's grown out of your head if you don't take care of that then it it will uh break off it will get damaged however you treat it um but your hair everybody here naturally grows out of the scalp you can't stop that from happening unless you have some type of hormonal imbalance or some type of disease but if you're just an average person who has hair that grows naturally out of your scalp and there's no type of hormonal or no type of hair disease or no type of anything like that then your hair can grow it just depends on if you want it to go grow then you have to take the necessary steps for it to grow and also retain length so that's what it's really about retaining the length that you have um, because your hair grows but anyway I hope this video helped somebody be like oh yes yeah, sis I get it I understand I can relate everything you said like even like I said it don't even have to be about the hair it's just about even the skin tone or even the shape of your body it's like things that um 
and I guess that can happen with different cultures because we think white white people don't have like the shape like black people do. But now I'm starting to see a lot of, you know, white folks in other cultures have like that hourglass shape that they say only black people have or or only Puerto Ricans or whatever. But so I guess it's a stigma on everything um, as far as it depends on what it is, like as far as hair, skin tone, shape, um, even the um, characteristics of your face the um, so your nose if it's too pointy then you're mixed with something or you have a white person's nose if it's pudgy then you're definitely black if you have full lips then you're black if you have no lips then you're white so I guess it's just a universal thing but this is the thing that bothers me it's the the hair thing where we as a people criticize our own and say what we can't have because it's too beautiful so um, just any advice I would give is to just think that we are beautiful. I mean, with short hair, with what we call nappy hair, with wavy hair, with long hair, with whatever hair that we have, we are beautiful. It's our own. It doesn't matter if we are mixed or not mixed, but just don't assume that we are because we have beautiful long hair. Um, I wanted to actually do like a DNA, um, one of those Ancestry.com things to um, just to see what is in my bloodline. Like I said, I know that I'm more than African American. I know that's in my blood um, more than any other race. But um, yeah, so maybe I will do that. I got to catch a sale first because I ain't going to say I'm going to get something for $100 just for you to tell me what what's in my blood I mean so if it's a sale then I would get it you know let me know y'all can you know uh comment below like hey this is when they have sales on that whatever but me no I, I don't need to prove it but I know I'm black <laughs> my parents are black I said what I said even my girls that's another thing even my girls they are me and my husband are you know brown textured tones um and my girls, all my girls are lighter than us. Um, and my my youngest two girls, they are light light skin, fair skin, and their eyes are actually um, a chestnut brown, a hazel hazelish chestnut brown. So they have light eyes and they're light skin, and you know people automatically assume, oh, they're definitely mixed. But <laughs> clearly, I don't have any light brown eyes, and I don't have any. But you know, I'm black. My husband's black. They look at my kids like, oh, they must be mixed with something because they have all this other beauty in them. So it's it just goes, it just the cycle never ends. Um, but yeah, that was my rant slash my story time, and I wanted to share that with you guys and to see if you guys have ever experienced anything like that as far as your skin tone, your hair. Um, your shape, um, even your culture, um, just just any stigmas or any thing that made you feel like your your race wasn't good enough to have that, if that makes sense. So um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And you guys have a blessed night. Bye.